Hello and welcome. Today's report comes from Haslingen in the North West, a place dear to my heart as it's home for me. And this report was sent into the British Bigfoot research team in 2015. The witness does not want her name released for professional reasons, but we are in touch with her and if you have any further questions, just pass them on to me and I can ask her. It took place in Haslingen, Lancashire. Though the witness was only 17 at the time, she still remembers it like it was yesterday. Here is the account in the witness's own words. This is a thing I don't tell people, because I sound mad when I do. But it's true, it happened, and there's nothing I can do about it. When I was 17, I lived in Haslinden in Lancashire. My mum and dad were out, and I was on the phone. I was sitting on the phone cabinet and idly looking around the room. I looked towards the kitchen dining room, back door, and there was a person. He, it felt like a he, looked like Chewbacca from the films. His head reached only an inch or two from the top of the door frame, and he sort of poked his head and upper body round the doorway to fit, like he was checking who was on the phone, just curious. I didn't feel threatened, except, of course, it wasn't supposed to be there, so it was shocking. And it was more like he was curious of me as I was of him. We looked at each other for about five seconds, and that's a bloody long time when you're in shock. I don't remember anything about his eyes. They weren't glowing red or anything like that. His hair was sort of a mousy colour, and it was over his entire body. And then he just left. He just left. He just went. My friend's still on the phone, and she's panicking because I've gone silent mid-sentence. But I was too scared to tell her what I'd seen. I just made up a silly excuse and asked her to stay on the phone with me till my parents came home. When they came home, I told Dad I'd seen something funny in the kitchen. Dad went into the kitchen and when he got in there, but there was nothing there. I didn't go into detail and I didn't tell any of my family and I never saw him again. I've no idea what any of this is. How would something that big pop its head into my house? Maybe this didn't help you at all, but I've got to report it somewhere. By the way, it was about quarter to eight at night, Top of the Pops was on, and, so, and it was sometime in October. I hadn't been drinking or had any experience at all with drugs. I hope this helps, Deborah. Now, this account, for all it seems strange, yeah, Haslington is known for a small town. It is only a small town, Haslinden, uh, but it's in the Rossendale Valley, and the name Haslinden actually means Valley of the Hazels. The Rossendale Valley is also known as the Forest of Rossendale, and it's very steep-sided, uh, lots of lush areas. It has many ancient forests, and it's part of the River Irwell's route. Now, I have noticed a pattern with rivers and sightings when I look at the map. And it seems that the rivers are maybe used for travel or resources in some way. I'm unsure why most of the sightings are around rivers. And the North West, West accounts all seem to follow or are very close to the River Irwell. I don't know why this happens, but you check for yourself, have a look. Um, so if you're out researching this month or just enjoying the outdoors, have a walk along the riverbank and check for signs and in any of the small wooded areas along that route. If you see anything, photograph it and send it into the team. We'll be happily have a look at it for you. So hopefully I'll be bringing you another sighting very soon, but that's all for now. Goodbye.